good evening uh, welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com uh, today we will learn uh, buying text box from two drop down list i have uh, a one table uh, that store plans that is monthly plan quarterly plan half yearly plan and yearly plans that is exist in the uh, server explorer that is plan and plan id and plan name in which we have uh, some values like um, the monthly plan quarterly plan affiliate plan and yearly plan that is a plan id is one two three four is automatically incremented now and uh, another uh, table is programs uh, like that program id and program name S uh, monthly and program i want to display uh, the amount in the text box when i select the plan and the programs uh, by the drop down list the another table is amount so here uh, we have three tables that is a program plan and amount and I want to display amount in the third tables but we retrieve both programs and plans from the other two tables okay now uh, design table uh, design the program uh, bind the uh, mm, drop down list of the programs and the bind the mm, plans drop down list from the two tables and both uh, tables retrieve this amount in the other tables into the text box okay uh, that is the text box check this code okay now uh, uh, very good uh, programming uh, when we bind uh, the logic behind that uh, is uh, bind both drop down list on page load event when page is not passed back the uh, value is binding so now uh, refresh and run the application There are program. Multiple instance of the Google Chrome is open, so uh, delete forcefully of the instance of the Google Chrome by the task manager. Yeah. Kill the uh, forcefully and uh, using the end task process. So select and uh, end task the process uh, default this is the uh, complicated for the system so now <coughs> run into the google chrome yeah application is successfully run the main page dot ASPX. Yeah, that is the main page uh, contains the two drop down list uh, the first pro for uh, program and the second for plan um, when the um, page is load uh, check this video tutorial and uh, see this uh, line of the code it's displayed here